Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share some holiday hospitality. Before the Thanksgiving holiday, we had two sets of parents come to stay with us, so I had a pretty quick turnaround between families coming to visit. So this time I'm just sharing some really simple ideas if you have guests coming into town and some just fun, really simple ways to show hospitality. I have a playlist of guest prep and hospitality videos on my channel, so if you like to gather ideas for when your guests come to visit, you can check that out with some simple ideas to some more extensive ideas like gift baskets and some things where you can go above and beyond. But starting first today, I'm really just starting with our guest bedroom, which is also shared with an office. This convertible type bed that I found on Overstock has worked pretty well. When this bed is in office mode, it looks more almost like a twin bed slash couch. And then you can pull it out into a queen, which is very helpful. So this is what it looks like before when it's in office mode. Also, since the bathroom next to that room is shared with my sons, I just want to make sure I do a deep clean. So I'm turning it from a kid's bathroom to one that is appropriate for guests by deep cleaning any, you know, splatters toothpaste, anything along those lines, adding some faux flowers, some shampoo and conditioner, some lotion, making sure there are plenty of paper towels and toilet paper underneath, um, so those are easy to find. I like to also have flushable wipes and different hygiene items. I also like to have cleaning supplies underneath as well, just in case. One thing I didn't add for a long time was a hair blow dryer, and that's something I've recently added because I was asked for it several times, so just to kind of anticipate. And then fresh towels, usually one on either side of the mirror and an extra one in the drawers. In the past, I've done like baskets with toothbrushes and toothpaste. Sometimes guests will take those things and sometimes they won't, so it really kind of depends on your guests and anticipating what their needs might be, and that will help you decide how extensive or simple you go with it. One thing I know is that every one of our guests wakes up in the morning and wants coffee. So I always make a pot of coffee with our Ninja coffee maker, which I love because you can set a timer and it's ready to go in the morning. We just use a blonde roast from Trader Joe's. And then I recently got this milk frother from Amazon that I saw at a friend's house when they made me a coffee drink. And today I'm going to make really simple eggnog lattes just by adding coffee and putting some eggnog in the frother. This frother has four different settings. It works the best with like half and half a regular milk, but you can use any type of milk. It has two different types of thickness for the foam, one setting just to heat up milk, and then also for the snowflake setting, that's like a cold cream foam option for your cold brew drinks, which is great. So today I just frothed up that eggnog and added some cinnamon, but you can also make a cold brew with cold cream foam. I made an eggnog cold cream foam. I mean, you could get so creative with it and make so many different types of drinks, whether it's in the morning, in the middle of the day, or even like a nice cappuccino at the end of the night after a meal. So with a great coffee maker and a milk frother, you can be the barista extraordinaire and make all sorts of fantastic drinks for your guests. Here in Tennessee, the weather has been really beautiful, especially for this time of the year. So we've had some colder mornings and it's starting to get a little colder on certain days, but by midday, it's usually been so pretty. So we're going to take advantage of that and encourage our guests to enjoy our front porch, which is one of my favorite spots. I'm refilling the bird feeder and just kind of prepping the front porch so that it is a space that is uh, can be enjoyed by our guests. It's one of my favorite places to come sit out and stare into the forest and listen to the birds and um, just enjoy nature. It's one of our favorite things about this house. So there are a few items that I like to pick up from the grocery store before having guests, such as items for making sandwiches. Um, also some beverages, like the kids like apple juice, of course, but we have that uh, juice for guests as well. Some items for dinner, like pasta and plenty of lettuce so we can make big salads for the family. Um, also at Trader Joe's, there are some really good snacky items. So if you have a Trader Joe's, but even Aldi has some really great snacky items. The cheese spread and the vegan buffalo dip from Trader Joe's are pretty tasty. The buffalo dip is great for dipping veggies in. Aldi also has a really great section of kind of prepared cheeses and dips and things like that. Um, Walmart has that as well. So I like to scour that for when we're having guests, just things to pull out for guests to enjoy. 
I want to consider breakfast items, so I usually get cereals, bananas, bagels, and cream cheese, um, just a few different options, and then snacky things like these pita crackers. I'll get some fruit to bring out, like grapes, dried fruit, um, nuts. Um, sometimes we decide to go out to eat with guests, but since going out to eat is pretty pricey, um, we'll either make homemade dinners or we have some frozen options for lunches and dinners and then some meat for the dinners. Um, so we try to plan out what we want to make. And then just some snacky items, coffee. Of course, we love like fun sparkly beverages like this lemon elderberry soda. They also have a really yummy like peach iced tea that's sparkling that's good at Trader Joe's. The flavored sparkling water is delicious. And then I got some chicken broth for the recipe I'm getting ready to share with you. Uh, the chicken soup dumplings are pretty good. I got a few of those, some bananas for breakfast, and also just a few of some of our favorites. We got some tangerine and carrot juice. We like to have that in the morning. My husband makes a really beautiful traditional breakfast with eggs, toast, potatoes, bacon in the morning. So having some orange juice with that is always really nice. Half and half for the coffee. I'm gonna get started on this really easy crock pot chicken and dumplings recipe. And since moving out here, I've tried some pretty awesome chicken and dumplings. So I've been really wanting to add a chicken and dumplings recipe to my repertoire of dinners. Today I'm making a really easy one in the crock pot with two chicken breasts, cream of chicken, and also some chicken broth. Now you can of course make this, which would be ideal to make it all completely from scratch. But with busy, crazy lives, sometimes that's not always possible. My husband has a YouTube channel where he shares cooking recipes, so I have asked that he share a cream of chicken recipe and also a biscuit recipe. Um, I do believe he has a chicken broth homemade recipe on his channel, but it's totally tasty and awesome either way you choose to make it. Today we're using canned cream of chicken and chicken broth from the store. So I cook that on high for four hours or six hours on low. So this is a great one to put on early in the day and it's ready by the end of the day, ready to go. Super yummy, great in the winter to kind of warm your belly. So you pull the chicken breast out when it's fully cooked, shred it put it back in, and then you're gonna need some biscuit dough. Today I'm going quick and easy with this and just using biscuit dough from the store. If you have a recipe you love and wanna do that, you can totally make homemade biscuit dough as well and you just cut it up into dumpling sizes. I might go a little smaller next time, um, but I cut them up and put them in with the, the shredded chicken and then just put the top back on and cook that for another hour. And then I just add some salt and pepper to taste and then also some fresh herbs just to kind of really round out that flavor. And I'll tell you, this recipe turned out great. My husband and kids loved it and it's just a perfect one to have on the crock pot, ready to go. You can put a little bit more love into it if you have time to do it completely homemade. But if not, it's a busy time of year. You know, I was kind of running around with the kids and picking my parents up from the airport. So it's one of those recipes you can get started and it's really easy and ready to go. Something to warm everybody's tummies um, and it's an enjoyable one to try with your family. So try it out and let me know what your thoughts are on it. So that completes this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to check out the Guest Prep and Hospitality playlist I have linked in my description. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so that you can know when I post videos every week, and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.